Namaste everyone and welcome to our next video. In this video, we are going to talk about The Untethered Soul, the book that has potential to teach us a lot. The book teaches us how to move towards freedom. This freedom is much more personal. In my opinion, this individual freedom is the basis of all other kinds of liberty we may want to experience as a collective. How to be free and what binds us are the subjects of the book. Before starting, I would like to mention that Michael Singer has written another phenomenal book called The Surrender Experiment, which we'll be discussing at the end of the series. I chose this book as the first in the series because it builds quite a foundation for understanding our lives. Have you ever been in a state where you are walking down the street, laughing with your friends and suddenly you are caught off guard, as if you are doing all of these things but that's not it? You might have felt completely content at the moment, yet surprised at your own sudden detachment. You could have asked the question, what else there is to life? Michael A. Singer beautifully answers this question in the book. In chapter 4 he writes, There is a type of dream, called a lucid dream, in which you know that you are dreaming. If you fly in the dream, you know that you are flying. You are actually conscious enough to know that you are flying in the dream and that you are dreaming the dream. The point is, awareness. The detachment you felt in the busy marketplace or even chatting with your family over a cup of tea was a moment of awareness. And the author says, when you are an aware being, you are no longer completely immersed in the events around you. Instead, you remain inwardly aware that you are one who is experiencing both the events and the corresponding thoughts and emotions. Awareness is the foundation for all self-help and an empowered life. As we sift through the pages of each and every book, we'll be better informed about awareness and how to practice awareness. Michael Singer's own journey towards total awareness began with a little voice in his head. For example, each one of us might say, I'm going to call him now. The inspection process starts with the question, who is speaking? Who is speaking, after all? This line of questioning we apply to ourselves. Another introductory and powerful method is hearing or watching the mental chatter and not agreeing or disagreeing to it. Let the tape in your mind play and don't react. The chatter of the mind is described as an inner roommate who can be troublesome at times. What do we do with it? The author neatly writes, to be aware that you're watching the voice talk is to stand on the threshold of a fantastic inner journey. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, Namaste.